number one this is normal hip technique and in this video we're gonna do the detailed camera review of the moto z2 play so the moto z2 plays was announced in india a couple of days back and this is a premium flagship experience in the mid-range segment and this comes uh, with really good uh, specifications but on the pricing uh, aspect this device is definitely slightly priced higher when compared to the competition in this video we'll talk about the camera aspect of the moto z2 play we'll uh, see the hardware aspect of the camera we'll uh, analyze the camera samples the front facing camera also the rear camera and see how good the camera is for the price segment so before we go into the detailed aspects let's first have a look at the camera specifications so on the rear panel we have a 12 megapixel camera with f-stop 1.7 aperture that's one uh, really good aspect about uh, the moto z2 play and this also has a uh, uh, autofocus that is laser autofocus and dual pixel autofocus so that's uh, one of the really good aspects about the phone dual pixel autofocus and also a laser autofocus so that makes uh, focusing really great experience and it also has a dual tone dual led flash that's also really good aspect now on the front facing camera we have a 5 megapixel shooter with f-stop uh, 2.0 aperture and we again have a color corrected flash or rather dual tone dual led flash on the front panel that's an upgrade over the moto z play so that was the camera hardware now let's go into the camera interface so opening up the camera you can uh, see the typical moto interface and um, you can uh, see the options here on the left side we have the timer mode flash and also hdr mode and uh, here uh, we have uh, different modes photo mode go live mode we'll just uh, show you here go live mode slow motion panorama video and photo so go live is basically uh, as, as the name indicates uh, going live with uh, youtube uh, then you have slow motion that's a 720p uh, recording uh, slow motion then panorama video recording and photo quality so these are the options and uh, here we have the option to switch to front facing camera so those are the options and now let's go to the settings you can see here photo size 4 to 3 aspect ratio that's 12 megapixel and uh, video recording maximum supported is uh, 4k ultra hd at 30 fps or you can go with a uh, full hd uh, that's 1080p at 60 fps also at 30 fps and the front facing camera can record videos in 1080p so that is the camera interface now let's go straight into the camera samples taken with this device so here are the daylight shots taken with the moto z2 play and you can see that uh, the clarity of the photos looks really good the sharpness levels and the overall clarity of the photos taken in daylight conditions looks really good the colors are pretty good and vivid and uh, most of the users will like these colors but at the same time the con uh, contrast ratios could have been slightly better it's slightly on the uh, lower side it could have been slightly more adjusted so that's the only uh, issue and that, uh, that too doesn't happen all the time uh, here and there you could see uh, if you're taking photos in a slightly cloudy condition the contrast could have been slightly better so the uh, the close-up images again had really great detailing uh, the autofocus that's uh, uh, a dual pixel autofocus along with the laser autofocus provided really great uh, uh, captures in uh, close-up uh, shots and one thing we noticed uh, very similar to the moto g5 plus extreme close-up images did blur out it was not able to focus extreme uh, close-up images but at the same time uh, a phone like uh, oneplus 3 or even asus uh, zenfone 3 could do that uh, at the same distance so that's one thing uh, which was which we uh, found even in the moto g5 plus so other than that uh, the daylight shots were really good and uh, uh, for a phone price at 28k uh, they're quite good uh, experience uh, using the 12 megapixel uh, camera and uh, with f-stop 1.7 so that was the uh, uh, daylight shots taken with this device now moving on to the low light experience you can see some of the uh, low light captures which, which we have taken and you could see that uh, in adequate uh, artificial lighting the photos have come quite good the noise is controlled and the sharpness levels is quite kind of adequate uh, and uh, does the job pretty well but when it comes to extreme low light uh, captures that's where you could see a lot of noise creeping in and um, when the light goes uh, down uh, you could see that uh, noise is more predominant in the photos and we could have, we could feel that uh, this could have been uh, slightly better for a phone priced at 20, 28000 so it's it's a premium flagship offering uh, in the mid range uh, from uh, uh, moto so that's one area where we, we were kind of slight 
so it's a, a kind of a premium flagship experience in the mid-range segment so moto could have done a slightly better experience in the low light uh, segment so that's the kind of disappointing aspect for this device but overall we would say uh, uh, the camera on the moto uh, z2 play is definitely above average and most of the users won't be complaining on the camera department now let's talk about the video recording again we have taken videos in a 1080p this is a 60 fps video and you could see that video quality also looks quite good for a phone in this segment so we don't have much to complain in the video department and the focusing in the video was also quite good there was no issues with the camera hunting for focus those issues were not there so overall the camera experience in the video recording was quite good now let's have a look at the front facing camera so it's a 5 megapixel shooter with f-stop 2.0 and here are some of the front facing camera samples which we have taken with this device so uh, there isn't much of change when compared to uh, the previous uh, moto z play again uh, it was a 5 megapixel shooter uh, here we have f-stop 2.0 and a dual tone dual led flash so that's uh, something uh, good from the company and uh, if you're looking to take uh, uh, selfies in low light conditions that's where the dual led flash helps and this is the color corrected flash so uh, it makes the images slightly better than the normal flash so uh, overall the selfies turned out to be uh, quite decent it's not of uh, stunning quality but for social shares this would be more than sufficient so this video is being recorded using the front facing camera on the moto z2 play and uh, similar to the rear camera this also supports 1080p recording at 30 fps and uh, this is a 5 megapixel shooter and there is also dual tone led flash uh, that's a color corrected flash uh, for taking selfies in low light so this is uh, the video we have taken outside and you can see for yourself the clarity of the front facing uh, camera for video recording so finally what do we think about the camera on the moto z2 play so definitely the moto z2 play camera performs uh, much better than the moto z play it's a definitely an improvement over the moto z play the optics are almost similar to what we have seen on the moto g5 plus and the performance is also pretty good on the moto z2 play so is it really a, a great camera in this price segment we couldn't we can't say that it's the best camera out there because the honor 8 performs much better and uh, even the zen phone uh, 3 uh, performed much better in some areas we are not uh, seeing that zen phone 3 is uh, a great camera in this price segment but uh, at least in low light experience we would say the ASUS Zenfone 3 performed better than the Moto Z2 play and uh, there is also Xiaomi Mi 5 which performs quite well uh, considering the price segment so Moto Z2 play won't disappoint most of the users with the camera but it is not of a great class leading category in the sub 30k price segment so that was the uh, detailed uh, camera review of the Moto Z2 Play. Hope this video was useful. So if you plan to buy this device, it's available on Flipkart starting June 15 for a price of 2799. It will be available on, uh, in retail stores as well. So that's all guys. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in our next video. Have a great day.